learning guitar with YouTube videos doesn't work. Don't touch that skip button. This is going to change everything. This is not a trick, it's absolutely real. Suppose you know absolutely nothing about guitar. Ever wonder why so many people say they want to learn guitar? But very few actually learn to play. It's simple. It's simple. Really simple. Uh, learn to play guitar ads are lying to you. Well, maybe not lying to you, but they're definitely making some false promises and using some pretty major hyperbole. I really like to interact with you guys, especially like through comments and stuff like that. So um, a lot of times I, when I'm going to answer comments, what I'll need to do is go actually look at the, act, the video itself and answer the comment from there rather than from like my YouTube studio or something. Because um, comments will often be like, what did you do at 728 or something like that? And I'm like, I don't remember exactly what I did at 728, so I gotta go look and be like, oh yeah, what I did was so that I can answer you accurately. So when I do that, I open up this page, and like most people, when I open up a YouTube video, it will play an ad. Um, it's you know usually gonna be like five seconds, and then you can skip it or something like that. Which of course I always do. You always do. Everyone always does. I've noticed that with me because probably because I watch a lot of guitar-related stuff, and also this channel itself is a guitar kind of centric channel. That a lot of times the ads that come up for me are kind of like infomercial style. Learn how to play guitar. Like, I want to make you better at guitar, or if you've never learned how to, if you've never played guitar before, I want to teach you how to play guitar. So I used a screen recorder program to capture a handful of them, and I kind of cut up some pieces here. Um, just because, and I want to show you some of these little clips, and you've probably seen some, if not all of these, before. And we're going to look at some of the things that they're telling you, and explaining to you, and promising you, and, and then I'm going to just bust some myths. So let's just take a look at this little short clip here. Learning guitar with YouTube videos doesn't work. Learning guitar from YouTube videos doesn't work. Well, that's just not true. You can learn guitar from people who teach lessons on YouTube, of which there are plentiful great teachers all over YouTube for free. Or you can do what I did, which is kind of, I mean, you can do it on YouTube now, but this is kind of when I learned how to play guitar, there wasn't really a YouTube yet, and there really wasn't much in the way of like online tablature and stuff. It was kind of hard to find. Um, when I learned how to play guitar, what I had to do was use my ears and listen to a record and like play a part and then stop and try to figure out how to do it and then play it again and stop and try to figure out how to do it. Or even better, what I would look for is a concert performance of like let's say ACDC for instance was a big one for me. So I'd look at you know Angus at Donington or something and I'd try to find a shot of him playing whatever it was I was trying to learn, and I'd watch his hands, and I'd go, okay, I can see that he's playing a G chord there, or I can see that he's bending the G string on the fifth fret or something, like, and then I would kind of intuit, go back and forth, and figure it out like there. You totally can do it, and you should. You should try to train your ears, because that's what makes great guitar players. It's not mechanics of hands and your picking and stuff. I mean, all that stuff's important, but what makes a great great guitar player or any great musician is the ability to hear what is happening and go that doesn't sound right or that does sound right that sounds good that's what it should be you have to train your ears to do that so total myth you absolutely can learn from watching youtube videos don't touch that skip button this is going to change everything this is going to change everything no no it isn't i'm not saying that maybe some of these websites don't have uh, specific things that could be helpful like you can maybe they have a tool that lets you slow down what you're wanting to learn and it still keeps it at the same pitch or maybe you know there's certain camera angles or something and you know everybody learns in a different way but is it going to change everything is it going to be like a night and day difference no guitar is hard to learn i mean it just is like i'm sorry but especially in the beginning stages guitar is kind of a difficult instrument to learn and it just takes some time you should absolutely do it you should spend the time learn how to play guitar because it's a very rewarding process but just don't expect it to be easy because it's not learning musical instruments in general is not easy because it's as much about training your hands or however you play it as it is to learn what the sound is and use your brain and your ears to learn how that all works so it's not going to change everything just just a heads up this is not a trick it's absolutely real this is not a trick it's absolutely real because generally when something is absolutely real and not a trick People feel the need to tell you that up front. No, they tell you that because this seems too good to be true. And you know what? Generally, if something seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. In this case, I think this guy's saying that he can teach you to play like 
worship guitar or something, which I guess just means playing acoustic, like open chords. I, I don't know what he's getting at exactly, but um, in 10 days, BS, man. <laughs> like, you're not gonna learn how to play guitar and sound good in 10 days. Like, you can learn some in 10 days, but you're not gonna be just a whole lot better in 10 days than you were, you know, when you started. Like, it's just not feasible unless you're like some crazy musical prodigy. But even then, like, you still have got to develop some hand strength and some finger calluses and stuff like that. It's just not gonna happen in 10 days. That's unreasonable. And so, yeah, it kind of is a trick. You're sort of like, deceiving the person watching this ad and I don't think that's cool. Ever wonder why so many people say they want to learn guitar? But very few actually learn to play? Ever wonder why so many people say they want to learn guitar but very few actually learn to play? Well first of all, what do you mean very few people learn how to play? There's like a million guitar players. Like, guitar is one of the most popular instruments in modern history. By far. Because it's like like piano, for instance, it's a polytonal instrument, so you can kind of just play a whole song by yourself and people will get the gist. You know, it's a little harder to do that with something like, say, a trumpet or something that only plays one note at a time. Whereas a guitar, you can play up to six notes at the same time, and so you can create, generate chords, things that you would normally have to have, like an orchestra or at least several pieces of instruments to play. All right, so guitar is a very popular instrument, so lots of people play guitar. But aside from that, ever wonder why so many people want to learn guitar but very few learn to play? Well, a lot of people want to learn to play guitar because it's a fun instrument, it's very rewarding, and a lot of people do learn how to play guitar. The people that don't usually get discouraged because it is a little bit difficult at first and they'll try to find a way around it, like my favorite was when we used to work in the music store and people would say, my fingers hurt, do you have these little like rubber things that go on your finger? No, we don't because that's counterproductive is to you learning how to play guitar, you just need to build up some calluses on your finger. It's really not that hard and it takes a little time, but like, it's not a big deal. So look, is guitar a little frustrating and difficult, particularly in the beginning? Yeah, totally. I mean, most musical instruments are, guitar can be a little bit difficult. You know, if you're really digging in hard, it's gonna be probably, you know, two or three months before you really start to feel like Okay, yeah, I'm starting to make some progress. I'm starting to feel like I'm playing this instrument now, not just like hitting motions. I'm not just going through the motions. I feel like I'm making music now. It's just gonna take a little time. That's okay. All the best stuff in the world, anything that's worth doing, is not easy to do. I mean, it, it's, that's what makes it rewarding is that when you spend the time and you learn how to do something and then you see yourself do the thing that you learn how to do, it's rewarding. Just don't expect it to come super easy. Like, I don't wanna, you know, get your hopes up or anything. Like, it's just gonna take a little time. Just be patient. It's simple. It's simple. Really simple. It's simple. It's so simple. It's really simple. Our way is so simple. If you just do it this way, it's simple. I wanna keep it really simple. You can't. <laughs> like, you can't make guitar simple. You can't make any musical instrument, you can't make music simple because music is a very complex and subtle and just kind of deep thing that you really have got to wrap your brain around. Now, you can make it a little simple in the beginning, like I'm going to teach you a simple amount of notes to play a very simple song so that you can learn the foundations, but you can't make it simple. It's not like, oh, Learning to play guitar is really easy, so long as you do it this way. No, <laughs> it's just like anything else. As you develop the skill, you're building upon things that you've already done. So as you get better, you're gonna do harder things. They may not seem as hard because you're building upon that foundation that you have, but by, like, you know, let's say you start and you learn how to play something within the first week or something, if you come back to that a year later and you've been progressively working up, that thing that you learned in that first week is gonna seem really, really rudimentary. And that thing that you're learning that end of that year is gonna seem like kinda hard. But then if you come back in a year later, probably that thing that you're working on there is gonna seem rudimentary and whatever you're working on now is gonna seem hard because it's all about foundational building and just working your way up. So. Musical instruments, music, guitar, none of it is simple, and there's no way to make it simple. You just have to understand that you gotta 
take off small bites at first and build that foundation of knowledge and eventually you will get to the point that you want to get to. Anyone can do it, but it's as much about training your hands and the, you know, the motion, the dynamics as it is to like training your ears and your brain to understand what these sounds mean and how they relate to each other. Okay, I'm basically done with my rant now. I just, what I'm really getting at here is that I feel like a lot of these, particularly these instructional type ads are a little misleading and I don't want you, I don't want to discourage you from learning how to play an instrument. In fact, I want the opposite. I want to encourage you to learn how to play guitar or piano or whatever instrument you want to learn how to play. Music is a very rewarding thing and it's good for your mental health and it's, I mean, it's just, music is great and I can't live without it. It's like a huge, huge part of my life. So definitely do. And whatever works for you, works for you. That's great. If one of these things that I showed you, if you're like, oh, I use that website, like, that's totally fine, man. Whatever works for you. But what I'm saying is that if you are seeing something like this and you're like, oh, well, should I click that? Is that the easiest way to do it? No, not really. I mean, like, just know these are basically infomercials and everybody's way is the new magic way. And, you know, if, I, if I'm being honest with you, just like the best way to learn, in all seriousness, just find some music that you like Put it on your CD player or your MP3 or your records or whatever and just sit down and listen to what's happening and then try to make that sound come out of the guitar. All right? Like, play it. What was that that he just did? You know, just go back and forth because you're training your ears. That's the most important thing. That's what makes a great musician is training your ears. So that would be my recommendation to you. You can use all kinds of tools, use everything at your disposal, but I think that's the most important thing and you're always going to find that the musicians who are the best, who are, you think sound the most polished, who have the, the most interesting ideas, are always the ones that learn by listening. So anyway, thanks for watching. Ran over. Until next time, I'll catch you later.